Thanks for watching. And here's a really neat problem suggested by Steven Strogatz from Cornell. Namely, suppose you have an equilateral triangle with vertices A, B, and C in the complex plane, show that the following sort of Pythagorean identity is satisfied. And the way we'll do this is by using some very neat complex numbers. So let x be the side from A to B. So x is b minus a, y is the side from b to c, so x is c minus b, and z be the side from c to a, so z is a minus c. And so the way to think about this is in terms of angles. So notice we have this side x, well in terms of vectors it's the same thing as this side, so the same as x. And the question is, how do you go from y to x? Well, you just rotate by 120 degrees, 2 pi over 3. And similarly, in order to go from z to x, so this is z, then you rotate by 120 degrees clockwise, which is the same thing as 240 degrees counterclockwise, so 4 pi over 3. Or the other way around, where you rotate by 120 deg 240 degrees and then by 120 degrees. So, in other words, what do we have? Either, so x is, again, 120 degrees times y, so e of 2 pi over 3i, y, and the same thing with 240 degrees. So e 4 pi over 3 i z. Or the other way around. So x is e of minus 2 pi over 3 i y and e of minus 4 pi over 3 z. i z. Depending on your orientation. But in the end, it doesn't matter because in either case, the ratios are the same. So in either case, what do we get is that x over y equals y over z. Okay. Because it's either uh, 2 pi over 3 or e of minus uh, 2 pi over 3i. And it turns out this is enough to help us solve a problem because all now we need to do is cross multiply and use the definitions of x, y, and z. So what do we get? We get xz equals y squared. Now what is y? That is c minus b. So c minus b squared equals x times z. So b minus a times a minus c. Right. Very good. And now just expand this out. So c squared minus 2bc plus b squared equals, let's see, bah, ba minus bc minus a squared plus ac. And that's good. We just put the a squared on the left hand side, the minus 2bc on the right hand side, and you end up getting a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals ab minus bc plus 2bc plus ac. But then this just simplifies to ab plus bc plus ac, which is exactly what we want. How cool is that? All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.